Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and I'm often asked what are my favorite rulers that I use for quilting and sewing. So I'd like to show you my 10 favorite rulers. So let me start with my square rulers. I like to have a really big square ruler. 16 and a half inches is my favorite size. I can go from small all the way to large. This is also great for when you're wanting to square up the corners of quilts. Most of my quilting blocks are under 12 and a half inches. So a 12 and a half inch ruler is great. I can square them up to eight inches and anything larger. So I will only need one ruler to square up the entire block. A six and a half inch ruler is another one that I use a lot because sometimes the blocks are just a little bit smaller and I don't need to use the very big ruler to square up the smaller blocks. I make a lot of half square triangles and I really like this ruler called Block Lock to help me square up the rulers. It has a little groove in the back that sits right in the seam so I can square up my blocks perfectly. Next are my long rulers. I often use two rulers together and that will help me square up fabric so I don't have to flip it. And I do really like an eight and a half inch and a six inch ruler. I like the six inch ruler that has very minimal markings on it. I love the color. It goes really great with a lot of black fabric. Then one that's just a little bit smaller. It's three inches by 18 inches. And I often will cut a two and a half inch strip or three inch strips. So this is a nice size just to cut very quickly and the pink marks are great on it because I can see it again with dark fabric. Now I have some little rulers. This one is 12 and a half inches by one and one quarter. I know it's an odd measurement, but I use this ruler all the time. I love it for marking and I use it a lot even when I design. I find it's a good size for a lot of those one inch strips. I also use a ruler called add a quarter and it actually has a little quarter lip on it and it is great so I don't really have to measure the quarter inch. The quarter inch is already there for me. And when I'm squaring up a lot of little blocks I like to use a ruler again from Block Lock and it is a no slip surface. The back sort of has a non-stick surface so when I put this on the fabric it does not move. And it doesn't matter how small the pieces are, that fabric underneath is not going to move as I cut it. Now there are 10 rulers that I love to use all the time. And I do have one more, but I don't really think you can call it a ruler. It is the seam guide. It's a tiny little piece of plastic and all the way around the outside on both sides are measurements. It's a great guide just if I want to mark my seams or see exactly what my machine is stitching. Do I have other rulers? Yes, I do. And I have lots of rulers that are designed for only one particular thing. I know it seems like sometimes why do I need to buy them, but I find sometimes those rulers are going to speed the process up and make the accuracy so much better. And then I'm forced to make that pattern more than one time. So here are my 10 favorite rulers plus one. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.